Uh, my husband yes. had a huge kidney stone. It was blocking the entire left kidney and he has to undergo five surgeries to get the, and he uh, even had a sepsis backfilled fluid and underwent five surgeries and draining all the fluid. He's back to normal, thank God. And now I, uh, they um, tested the stone and then they have declared that the stone is uh, formed due to oxalate, right? So they asked mm -hmm. him to avoid Not all to the touch oxalate. The tomatoes. I, <laughs> yes, tomato, spinach, uh, spinach peanut. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I know. And, and they said red meat. We don't even eat red meat. But like, it's really yeah. hard for me to see. Like, my husband yeah. started asking, what the hell do I eat? Right? It's really yeah. hard for me. I'm even yeah. scared. Yeah. Like, I couldn't even find if uh, millets have oxalate or anything. But when I emailed you, you said it's totally fine. So I started yeah. giving him, I started following the kidney stone protocol you have mentioned yeah. there. And yes. it's just two, two, second week, I guess. Um, yeah. Yeah, my question here is, um, first, I'm, you, I'm following that protocol for him. Can I also follow the same protocol? I don't have any precondition. Can I also follow Absolutely. the same protocol? No, see, okay. all our protocols are safe for anyone. You okay. can follow the cancer protocol, you're safe. No problem. Okay. It's not that you have to have cancer. Yeah, because like I, I cannot yes. cook for him and cook separately. I understand. I, I know. As I told you, <laughs> we keep fighting. <laughs> Thank you. And number two, yeah. um, if I'm following the protocol, do I have to cook? I mean, the, uh, does he have to eat? Um, like he, I give him all juices in the morning, but uh, lunch and dinner he eats. Lunch he, he eats the ambali and dinner I make dosa, like normal dosa, like with the rice and da, urad dal. Yeah, I, I would change it to a, a other way around. See, you have to have your first meal, full meal. The, I eat very well in the morning. I mean, okay. I, I hog. And okay. then afternoon, I just take a uh, small buttermilk or little. I don't eat much. And then evening again, I eat leftover foods in the mornings, those are uh, whatever I have eaten, you know, we eat, uh, that's, okay. and we make something. Then. Okay, so, so the first meal has to be a uh, big Ambali. one. Ambali. So Ambali. I'll switch Ambali. Ambali for breakfast and juice for lunch and dinner normal dosa. Is that okay? Absolutely. That okay, should so. be the be better option is that. Yeah. Okay. So I don't have to um, make him eat Ambali all three times a day or something. So once Not a day, necessary. Ambali is fine. Okay. Yeah, fine. And uh, one more thing is, can I soak the uh, millet for more than six hours or like it should be only six to eight hours? No, no. Up to 12 hours you can soak. No problem. I, I soak it overnight and then I cook the next day. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, then leave it for yeah, Up to 12 like... hours, nothing. No problem at all. Oh, beyond 12 hours, I cannot uh, soak it? Because yeah, sometimes, you know, depending upon uh, your hygiene, you know, sometimes it starts smelling. So that, that's, that's good. I mean, hygiene in the sense, my location, right? I'm... Yeah, I mean, it's I not you it's not alone. I mean, okay. Where you stay, how, how, you know, a lot of things matter. Okay, more than 12 hours. Okay, I'll take care yeah. of that one. And um, right now, I'm not getting the kashayam. I, ha I have not given him any kashayam. I'm following only the uh, protocol. Yeah, that's okay. But uh, <laughs> the bryophyllum pinata and uh, the cilantro, they all help a lot, especially the stem, uh, banana stem. They are very important for the yeah. condition. Okay, sure. Yeah, but to not to accumulate uh, whether oxalates or phosphates or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so those kashayams are quite uh, important. Uh, please try to get those. If not, if nothing else, uh, cilantro and uh, banana stem. I'm sure okay. you can manage. Okay. And banana stem, sometimes I get, sometimes I don't. What I did is I got some banana stem powder and make a soup out of it. Is that okay? Or do I still have to look for a fresh banana stem for making? Yeah, I always prefer uh, fresh, fresh ones. One? Yeah, sometimes I don't get it here, but yeah, yeah. that's right. That's right. I'll, I'll stick to it. And one more question is like, can I add, add dal to it daily? Like a protein or something like, because uh, he feels full when he adds a protein along with umbrella. Yeah, four, 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 four is to one. Yeah, four is to one. So like I mean, four. Ambali four, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 dals always have to be small quantities. People yeah, yeah. tend to overeat protein. Yeah, oh, that's okay. not right. Okay, so I make I make kind of curry with small dal, and then that curry yeah. with ambali is okay. Okay, okay. or kichdi, some kichdi. People, you know, four is to one. Remember, any dal four is to one. Four uh, siridhanya and I mean, uh, millet and one ratio. Okay.
Um, not a question, but the follow up you mentioned about uh, tomato <laughs> kidney stone, right? Can I still give tomatoes to my husband who had kidney stone? Is that okay? Is oh, that okay? Cer certainly, certainly. Oh it's God. not the tomatoes that are problem. It is your husband's kidney that is problem. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you you follow the decoctions. It will okay. uh, try, el eliminate the problem. So until I follow the decoction, should I avoid the tomato? Or no, no, no. Okay. No, no. You're following millets and ambali. Yes, that should yes, be. I'm following that. Yeah, no. Thank you so much, Dr.